Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monty. This has been one heck of a week with Friday having the most volatility we've had in a long time, thanks to the news coming out of Europe that Britain is separating from the European Union, aka Brexit, and it really shook things up. But the good news is for investors and traders alike is that we could make money on the way up and on the way down. And the technical charts have been our main tool for forecasting the markets. Now, these are the lines that I drew last week. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what I said because the lines are pretty self-explanatory. This is when the alert came out. And... I drew this diagonal line saying that we would move up to test resistance. That's the line that I drew right there. And then I said, once we hit resistance, we'll probably pull back. And that's exactly what happened. We pulled back, all right. We gapped down. So this has been week after week forecasting the markets to the T. And you'll see that this is the case for all of the indices that I bring up today where my lines were exactly right with forecasting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase the lines here from the diamonds chart, and I'm going to back out a little bit because you have to understand this is major selling volume down here. See this? And we have a line of support that goes back to, what's that? That's March 24th of this year. So we bounce off the support here. We bounced off it again in May. And here we are at that line of support once again. My forecast is that we'll probably move up a bit. I think after we've had a chance to digest the news over the weekend, investors will probably look for a bargain bottom. We might see a little bit of a rally there early in the week. But I think we're going to go right back down to test that support level. Whether or not we'll break and go below that support level if we break out to the downside, I don't know that yet because again, there's too much emotional premium in the market and the news is still acting like the domino effect from country to country. So, But I do think we'll see a little bit of a bounce. I'm going to leave that in place until next week. Now, if we look at a more broad-based index, which is the Spiders, that's the S&P 500, tracking 500 stocks, you'll see that, again, this is when my report came out. This was Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We followed right up. Remember I said we were going to move up to test that resistance. We did that, and we opened and closed way down on the S&P on super high volume. So we're seeing a mirror image with the diamonds, and we're at, once again, another key support level. This support level right here is what I'm watching out for. We could see a little bit of a bounce here, just like that, and then I think we're going to come right back down to test the support. We'll have to wait to see if we get a breakout to the downside as well for the S&P, because if we break out below that support level, we can go dramatically lower. We can go down here to 185 and fill this gap that's been around for a while, since February. So that's my forecast for the S&P. Now, if I look at a more broad-based index in the Russell 2000, 2000 stocks, same exact forecast came to fruition. I said that we would move up. This was my target right at the end of that line. The target was hit almost to the penny on Thursday, and then we came right back down to this support level. So the Russell 2000 is already on a roll reversal support level, but I think we can go a little bit lower on the Russell, and here's why. There's a support level down here that I think we're going to test. So we could see this first for the Russell. We could see that come down just like that, and I'm going to leave that line in place as well. Now, if you look at the VIX volatility index, I put my forecast out for the VIX as well. I said we would move lower right there. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you could see that. Again, these are the exact lines that I drew. I said we would go down to test that support, and then I said we would bounce off of that support. 
you cannot get a stronger bounce. Even my forecast of the day when we would bounce was accurate, and then boom, we head straight up. So for the VIX, interesting enough, you don't see this kind of a candle all that often. I think that this is going to be a new support level here for the VIX, a form of resistance reverses the troll turns to support. So I think we're going to see this, just like that. VIX will pull back and maybe bounce off that new support. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at the Market Guys, just go to themarketguys.com. Click on the video link, and there'll be a whole library of educational videos for you for free. Learn while you go along, little by little. Each video is about five to seven minutes long. You can look at one or two a day as your daily financial vitamin, and then track the markets along with us so that you can increase your percentage of accuracy as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. So long. For almost three decades, A.J. Monty has motivated audiences worldwide about creating personal wealth and winning in business. His time-tested risk management strategies focus on ideas that involve a keep it super simple approach, also known as the KISS principle. These concepts have been delivered to people in over 16 countries around the world, reaching audiences in the millions. AJ is a best-selling author of two books, The Market Guy's Five Points for Trading Success and Take Charge of Your Money Now, both of which have been featured on PBS Television, Fox Business News, ABC TV, as well as Sirius Money Radio. As a financial educator and consultant, he has worked with some of the most recognized names in the financial industry. Companies like Bank of America, Charles Schwab, E-Trade Financial, Scotiabank, and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. If you have ever been challenged with having to make a tough decision regarding when to buy or sell a stock, then help is on the way. The Options Oracle and Equity Oracle Alert Services are designed to help you make those tough decisions. AJ will not only help you find the best trade candidates, but he will also lay out the exit strategy for each position in an easy-to-understand format that anyone can follow. Hi, my name is AJ Monte, Chief Market Strategist for The Market Guys. For almost 30 years, I've traded stocks, options, futures, and even currencies. I've traveled the world teaching people just like you how to profit in the market using time-tested strategies that focus on risk management. You see, the secret to making money in the market depends on your ability to limit losses when you're wrong. In other words, if you want to make a lot of money in the market, don't lose a lot of money in the market. Now that may sound funny, but it's true. Most investors are challenged with two questions. The first question is, how do you find a good stock? Well, the best way to find the right stock starts with eliminating all of the stocks you would not invest in. This process of elimination is called stock screening. And our services help you overcome the odds so you're putting your money where the money is going. We're simply following the trends. The second question most people ask of me is, when is it time to sell? Well, if you don't have an answer to this question, then you might find yourself in a position where you're holding on to your stocks when things go against you. This is the worst thing you could possibly do because I believe this is no longer a buy and hold market. It has evolved into a buy and protect market. Holding on and hoping for things to get better is not a strategy. In fact, doing this will eventually lead you to a catastrophic loss, and you wouldn't want that. Our trade alert services help answer these two questions. Not only will I help you find the right trade candidate, but I'll also show you how to use the charts to manage risk. I don't use the charts to predict the future. I use them to protect the future. The charts tell me when it's time to get out as well as when it's time to get in. And that's what I'd like to teach you as well. We have two services, the Equity Oracle and the Options Oracle. The Equity Oracle is an alert service for traders who would like to trade only equities, whereas the Options Oracle is our premier alert service for both equity and option traders. Each alert is laid out in an easy-to-understand format that shows charts depicting entry and exit points. Risk management is our cornerstone of each service, so you don't have to struggle with the decision of when to get out or when a trade goes against you, when should I take my loss. The strategy is to use the KISS principle, keeping it super simple. As a bonus, you'll have access to a live Q&A session as well, each and every month. This is where you can submit a stock symbol, and I will analyze these stocks while we discuss the best trading strategies for each position. 
and it gets better. In addition to the alert service and the live monthly Q&A sessions, we're also developing a member page that will include instructional videos about how to get the most out of our service. Without question, this is the best trade alert service available on the market, and we look forward to having you as our newest subscriber. Simply click on the link below to subscribe. It's easy. Once again, I'm AJ Monty, Chief Market Strategist for the Market Guys. Thanks for watching. Enrolling in the service is easy. Simply click on the link below to subscribe, and your weekly alert will be delivered right to your email box. And if you act now, we will include AJ's best-selling book, The Market Guys, Five Points for Trading Success. This is a first-time offer that will get you on the road to success and keep you there. Remember, if you continue to do what you've always done, things will never change. Positive results will only come after you've taken the first step in the right direction. We look forward to having you as our newest member.